Hi, welcome to a new IT Business Essentials tutorial. My name is Carlos and today we will talk about how to use Google Meet. Google Meet is a video call application that can be used with any Google account. It is part of Google Workspace for Business and Education, but it can be used with your free Gmail account. With your free Gmail account, you can have a video call with multiple participants up to an hour, or you can have a one-on-one -on -one call with 24 hours maximum length. Google Meet is an alternative to the popular application Zoom. Let's jump into our computer and see how to use it. If you want to easily find this or another of our videos in the future, please click the subscribe button. It also helps us to continue creating more videos like this one. Thank you. We are now in our computer and we will access one of our Gmail account. This is a test email account. And from here, there are different ways how we can access Google Meet. We can click on the upper right corner where we have these nine little dots and we will find the apps Meet. Here we have the option to access a meeting if we have the code already that someone has sent us or we can create a new meeting. By clicking here in new meeting, we can create a meeting for later. We can start a meeting right now, or we can schedule a meeting using Google Calendar. If we go back to our Gmail account and we access Google Calendar, we can schedule a meeting by clicking here on create. We will decide the date that we want to have the meeting. Let's say it's in a, a couple of days, and then we can click on at Google Meet, and we can invite the, the persons that will attend to the meeting. We can add the guests to the meeting and click on save. It will ask us if we want to send invitation to the person, we will confirm, and we have scheduled the meeting with uh, Google Meet. We will have it right here. And we will find the, the day that we have the meeting, we'll click on join with me, Google Meet, and we will be able to access the meeting, the video conference right away. If we want to create a meeting right away, we can go to Google Meet, click on new meeting, then click on start an instant meeting. I'm now seeing myself on my computer. I can uh, mute myself. We can turn off or on the video at any time during the meeting. On the upper left side, we can add others to the meetings and we can send an invitation by entering the email address. And then we click on send email. The guest will receive an email with the details of the meetings that we have just created. We can turn on our camera again. And in this computer, we have the guest who has received the invitation with the details. And then the person will click on join the meeting. In, the guest will have the, the options to turn on or off the camera as well as the microphone. Then click on join the meeting. So as we can see, we have the two participants in this meeting, one is myself and the other one is the guest right here on the right. On the bottom left corner, we see the meeting information, the URL of the meeting. On the upper right corner, we will be able to change the layout. Here we have some other some additional options about the meeting. We can we can use the whiteboard from Google. We can have a full screen. We can change the layout as well. You can use a style, spotlight, sidebar, or auto configuration. We can have the full screen. We can change the background if we if we want. We can turn off on captions. There's an option that we also have here that can be useful in some cases. We have just turned it on. And as we can see, we can uh, we will have the transcription of all the conversation, all the meetings that we have during the meeting. During the meeting, we'll be able to present and then uh, we can share our screen. You can share the, sc the entire screen, a specific window or a tab 
uh, on, on our browser. We can finish our end meeting at any time by clicking here on this button. And the guest can also leave the meeting at any time. It will have the same controls and the guest has just left the meeting. Then we can also leave the meeting by clicking here. Here we can return to the home screen. Now let's see what the guests see when they receive the invitation. We will switch to our account, a Gmail account that has been invited. This is the email that the guest received and the guest will have this option or this button here that will allow him to click right away and join the meeting. This is actually a Google Workspace account, which is a business account. When you access Google Meet from the Google Workspace account, it looks very similar. It will give you the option to join or start a meeting. If you have a code or nickname of a meeting that it is taking place at this moment, you can type it here. If not, you can just continue. So this is now a new meeting. Here are the details of this meeting that you can share with the guests. The meetings created by a Google Workspace user will allow the guest to join the meeting using a phone number and a PIN number. If someone needs to access the meeting, uh, but that person doesn't have access to a computer, uh, only to a phone, he would be able to dial this number or to join the meeting uh, using his phone. So I'm going to join the meeting. We have similar controls of what we saw before with the Gmail account. We can invite people from here. And send invitation to the meeting. And we have the same controls to turn off our camera, to mute our microphone. Other differences when we create a meeting from a Google Workspace account or a business account, meetings could be a 24 hours length. We can leave the meeting as we did before and return to the home screen. Users can also create a video calls or a video conference meeting uh, by using their phones and with the Google Meet apps, users will be able to create and join meeting, meetings as well. With this, we conclude our session today about Google Meet. If you find this video useful, uh, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave us a comment on the video. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.